Crude oil is the only normal market, in my opinion, today. Really, really extreme price action. We're going to go over it. You see the best trades on the day. Cobra crude, uh, or Esther counter trend crude oil, 2, plus 475. Esther counter trend 3s each, plus 475. The gap fill and reverse strategy, minus 215. Let's look at the market internals, and we'll go over the stock indexes. Really wild. Uh, these are very big point moves. These counter trend moves are very large, and they overlap each other. I'm going to show you how that works on the NASDAQ. Very hard market to trade. This is the 24-hour session, so the day session starts right about here. Massive move higher. Uh, what is that? Uh, at least 100 points, and then you roll over to the lows. Get another big rally, roll over, get another big rally. They're all oversecting. These counter trend bounces are all oversect in, uh, intersecting. So you have this one right here. Pretty strong sell-off. Then you get a counter trend bounce, and it doesn't quite intersect completely, but close. And so... Then you get another roll over here and a bounce back. And so very hard to pick all these points. And most systems aren't set up to handle these kind of wild ranges. If you get in up here, you can do that. We, we had the VSD strategy that was profitable today on the short side. I'm going to show you that as well. And so let's look at that real quick. We've talked about incorporating VSD long and short. And it's pretty choppy early on. Down pretty good right here, minus 3,900. Big rebound, plus 47.40 as it goes into the close. And this type of strategy is able to withstand a lot of these whipsaws because it keeps the position open. It has a good entry point at 2.30 in the morning. And so it stayed with it. It wasn't micromanaging these wild swings. And so it was able to stay with it. But let's go over the other trades on the day. You see the ES here. The bonds have sold off. Uh, strongly since the beginning of the year, higher interest rates. We've talked about inflation, advanced decline line, minus 2,400 today, got slammed and stayed there. We're used to seeing it re uh, rebounding. Uh, it did not rebound as much as the market did. Ticks were really low, minus 1,297, nearly minus 1,300, and the VIX shot up to plus 31. So it's never broken down the 20 level. Um, it's just, it's, you see the low there is 1995, so it did break it down momentarily, but um, on an end-of-day basis, it stayed above 20, which is relatively high. So, the trades on the day, we've gone over crude oil. The energies in general were, uh, were highlight and, and very consistent. You see RBOB, SR Counter Trend 4 plus 479. Small trades, but a more consistent, uh, normal moving market. As you can see, e mini s and let's go over these. Trades you see, Mirror actually had a good trade today right at the open. Huge, strong bounce right there. That dip buying right at the open. You can see the pattern they're trying to put in here and work toward ties, but higher interest rates is squeezing. And um, you know, the market is just due for, for more pullbacks. And so, we're getting that it's very choppy and bouncy to get there. Um, but you see, you see all the wild moves here in the ES as well. Really big, strong V reversals in this market. Gap continuation reverse did a good job of capturing that. Um, adaptive moving average did good today, plus 1,087.50. Cobra 3 mini S&P did well, plus 32.50. I traded the uh, profit target version of this with plus $600 profit target. And so that was, uh, today would have been the good day to not have a profit target on that. And then 60-minute um, breakout short, plus 700. Night Trader was stopped out, minus 15.25 on that trade. And the NQ strategies, let's look at those. Traded the big stop loss version of that, which only takes one trade, so I missed this one as well. So there were some opportunities to capture these moves. The strategy I was trading today, um, the profit target version of ES, and then the uh, one max daily, uh, max daily trades of one on the NQ did not catch these big moves, but this, these, there were some that did, plus 38, 35 on gap continuation 2019. The aggressive version, tick count trend, minus 675, minus 1875 on tick pulse. And Cobra 3, E-mini NASDAQ, this is the this is the worst trade on the day, the first trading trade on the day. This is the non-profit target version. It was also trading this, but it was stopped out by about 7 points. The high was 13,168.75, 7 and a quarter points, very small in the NASDAQ. The market looked like it was going to roll over right there, and they just had this one-minute move, hit that stop loss, and then it rolled over. And so that was would have been a, instead of a $625 loss, it would have been about a $6,100 profit because it would have exited down here at the close had it not been stopped out. So it was just one minute, one minute and seven points away. That was 
probably the biggest difference on the day with that in the profit target version of 2900. VSD in Q, the long only, minus 2190. Here's the gap continuation, big stop loss um, with the max daily entry of 1, minus 700 on the day. EVP2, uh, minus 525 on gold. Viper had a huge day. I'm not trading this setup, but Viper had a huge day today, plus 4,200 on that setup. Uh, tick Fader, it was uh, plus 375 on the day, rebounding from yesterday's loss. Dynamic Tick pullback, minus 1,800. EVP1 lost at the open on the long, lost at the close on the shorts. Here it is again, just exiting at a swing high. Getting a lot of these lately because there's so much volatility short there. Moves up, we get out, and then it moves back down. So um, always discouraging to see that. And beta C, this was a highlight on the day. Gap continuation reverses has been a highlight strategy. Um, we had this trade, and then um, this, was, this was last week, last Thursday, and then on Monday. This trade rolled over on us, and then on Tuesday, this trade... Uh, up 1975, and then this trade was profitable on Wednesday, and now Thursday. This market, this, the way this strategy works is it trades the gap continue in reverse, but if it keeps, if it doesn't reverse, if it gap continues, it takes that continuation trade with the profit target. And it did that today, so plus 950 on the day. One of the highlights on the day is gap continuation and reversal, making new equity peaks in that strategy. Uh, PR breakout minus 725, a uh, very tight stop loss. You see how tight a $700 stop loss is on this market. We need we need bigger uh, counter trend moves before we enter in these short trades. Um, as you can see, just wild wild rallies all day long, and massive chop. PSDES minus 1625 crude oil. We've already gone over that. And the energies, gold. Um, same thing at gold, just wild, choppy price action. You get short, the market comes up here, you hit your stops, and then it rolls over. Minus 625 on that trade. We also lost on EVP2. And so um, silver, no trades. Euro, good trade, plus 525. Uh, exhaust in reverse, minus 1575. Soybeans, minus 425 and minus 525. Just uh, choppy in soybeans, too. Choppy in soybeans, choppy in gold. Choppy in the stock indexes and um, energies were the uh, one one market that was uh, less choppy. So let's look at um, the profit target version of these VSD. We're trading this one as well. VSD Night Trader minus five fifteen twenty five. Cobra three in Q uh, profit target version just stopped out here. Otherwise, it would hit that twenty nine hundred dollar profit target. And then we had um, Cobra 3 E-mini S&P, $600 profit target, plus 575. Uh, Cobra Bonds, we talked about this earlier, how well the short side is doing on this Cobra Bond strategy. We're not trading it, though. And those are the trades on the day uh, for February the 25th. Uh, very choppy uh, price action. I guess I've used that word a lot. Uh, but it is, it is choppy, and it's difficult to ch uh, challenging to trade. The stock indexes in this market, we have to consider um, a regime change in this market as the 10-year hits 1.5%. We have to consider inflation, uh, higher interest rates, and we haven't traded in an, in an environment where interest rates and inflation are going up. And it actually gives you, I guess, the opportunity to fight the Fed and be short this market, but um, be short bonds, be short stocks, but... It'll be a choppy, choppy shorting, uh, choppy market to short. So we have to find good ways to short this. And one of the ways to do that is on these counter trend rallies. Here is an example of what I'm talking about. Um, if you have, if you're short, if your if your positions are short, you you wait for this uh, to move up to this exponential moving average band. If it gets, if it trades above that, and then you, and the trend is down, then you short it. And that was a great trade to make, is to short it when it hammers above these uh, down the downtrend exponential moving average band. You can short it right there, and then you get a, a good entry point because it's already made its counter trend move. So if you short it here, you're due for a counter trend move, and then you get stopped out. 
it's unusual to do that. It's unusual to not be able to short a weak market to always get hit with a counter trend move. Uh, you know, you should you should be able to in most market environments historically is to short a market when it starts to roll over. And for some days, sometimes you should get stopped out. You will get stopped out sometimes on counter trend rallies, and other times it rolls over. But now. Now, most of the time, if you trade, if you day trade, this is the over, an overnight strategy. But if you're day trading, uh, it just every it, you're just constantly getting counter trend rallies against you, and that's what's made it so difficult.